Is it wrong to say that I got more joy out of pixels than I did out of this? Hey everyone, it's Mario Savaskis, and we're back with a brand new Quick Reviews, and this is fan stick Yeah, that's what I'm calling it. So, fan stick is the same old same old that you expect from a Fantastic Four movie. Miles Babyface Teller plays Reed Richards, who is a young genius who invented teleportation between dimensions. They travel to dimensions where they're stuck with science-y space stuff. That seems to be in every superhero movie, the more I think about it. And they come back with mutant powers that they'll need if they're going to defeat Dr. Crackhead C-3PO Doom. So. Ironically, this is the fourth attempt at making a Fantastic Four movie. So, what's the difference between this one and all the others? Well, for starters, it's clear that they're trying to show that they're not as goofy as those last three movies. Based on what the trailer's promoting, it's clear that they're trying to go the X-Men route and have a comic book movie with a rougher tone, with some cute jokes here and there. This guy doesn't take orders well. Yeah, especially from people who say, I don't take orders well. How's Michael B. Jordan in this? He did okay. Miles Teller? He was fine. The Thing? They fixed it in the movie, okay? They fixed it. They made the voice lower so you guys could sleep tonight. All these nitpicks that I'm listing don't make this a bad movie. There's other things that make this a bad movie. The characters are written so flat. They never set up why these characters are the way they are and how they do what they do. That leads to character development, which is not in this movie at all. The best scene in this movie is when they actually get their powers because it is so horrific to watch. They really look like they're in pain and agony when they get. But aside from that, everything else in this movie feels so half-assed. Every time there was something that was relating to the Fantastic Four, it just felt scotch taped on. Believe it or not, I actually wanted this movie to be goofy. I wanted it to be funny. Not necessarily that they had to do goofy stuff with their powers, like I didn't want to see Reed Richards reaching for toilet paper again because I was really stupid, but I wanted the characters to be funny. I never thought I actually missed the goofiness of the original two movies. For crying out loud, somebody throw a pie! By the way, the thing horribly wasted. He's barely in the movie. You barely remember that he was in the movie because you don't remember anything that he did. Oh, except for the fact that he said clobber in time. Who cares? Don't you think we want to get into the head of a character who is forced to be a rock creature for the rest of his life? Which, by the way, the thing has no thing, so we know that he has nothing else going on for him. And the character of Doom? <laughs> oh my god. Julian McMahon, you are forgiven. <laughs> Again, how interesting would it have been how we got into this guy's head? I mean, this guy got left behind on another dimension looking like a freak for a year. A year! And they try to make up for this in the final act with the climax. The climax was awful. Awful. Awful! First of all, it was on planet green screen, ha <laughs> green screen, ha <laughs> ha. But it was on planet green screen, so you never felt any kind of intensity or, or anything because none, none of it felt real. And on top of that, there were no twists and turns that kept you on the edge of your seat. It was just straight, forward, and simple, which is why that the climax only lasted two minutes. It was simple. Stop the bad guy. Pfft. The end. Whoop the freaking do! Oh, and by the way, no Stanley cameo in this. Yeah, no Stanley cameo whatsoever. He'll happily cameo in these two movies, but not this one. Think about that. So, my overall thoughts for the new Fantastic Four movie was... It was anything but. As for myself, I think I'm going to spend next week looking at a superhero who seems to know what he's doing. Thanks for joining me for Quick Reviews. I'm Mario Sebaskis. It's anything but. Take care.